Hello, thank you so much for watching this video. It's a candle wax saving tip that I use. Well, actually, this is the first time I've done this, but it's been in my head for a while now. Um, this is for when you buy those candles and they have like a centimeter left at the bottom and you want it, you don't want to just throw it away. You can use it for something else. So I hope you like this technique. Um, the things you will need, a pot, pre-tap wicks, hot glue gun, and soap. Okay, so this step is completely optional. I use this because I wanted to use this particular jar for my new candle. Um, this is my coconut oil jar. I was just melting it down. But you will need the pot and the boiling water to melt the other candles anyway. So go ahead and use that. Here you will see my four candles that I want to take the um, sorry, I had a brain fart, to take the wax out of, um, yeah, you'll see that they're, these are pretty similar in scent. These are the wicks that I use. I bought them at Michael's. They were about three or four dollars, and they're pre-waxed, pre-tabbed, and that was so hassle-free, you guys, because if not, you want, you have to buy, like, the string of the wick, and you have to make a knot in the tab and everything. Just use these. These are so good. Um, here you'll see the pre-tabbed already done, um, and these are already, like I said, pre-waxed, so they will stay straight up. And here's what you need the glue gun for. Just add some glue gun at the bottom, throw that in there, and it shall stay. Here is the one of the candles already melting in the pot. Uh, this took me about five minutes per candle. Um, yeah, it's very, very simple. I really, really like this technique. It's better than buying a pot specific for this. Unless you're a professional candle maker, this worked great for me. And then here is after I already poured the wax into the candle or into the jar that I'm using. Um, you can see that the, the wick stays straight up. I'm not even holding it in or anything. Here is after three candles I've done. Like I said, I did use candles that are really close in scent, so they mesh well when you're burning them. Uh, this is the jar that I'm cleaning afterwards. I just use some soap and water. After it's boiling hot, it's really, really fast to get everything off. Um, if you're having problems, just use some nail polish remover around the sticky parts at the bottom or where the sticker was. That'll get them right off, you guys. I promise you. Um, just ignore my weird canner top there I believe maybe a few years ago something burned in my counter um, don't put hot plates on that and here are the jars that I got already cleaned up sorry about the quality and the audio I hope you guys still heard me and thank you so much for watching bye bye